Hey everybody, what's going on? Uh, just wanted to do a quick video update. Uh, this is the SS Report. Subscribe to our channel for daily and weekly live updates. You could also visit our ministry page, servingsovereigntyministries.com. And um, we hope that you know our biblical content will be beneficial to you. Um, I wanted to do a, a video update today about the U.S. dollar hitting a BRICS wall. Last week, the BRICS nations announced the official establishment of what they're calling a new development bank. And this bank was created to rival and to basically go up against the International Monetary Fund, uh, the IMF, and the World Bank, which were both formed back in 1944 uh, at the Bretton Woods Conference, um, which followed World War II. And that conference at Bretton Woods, it basically enacted this new system that put the U.S. dollar as the reserve currency of the world. And so, by doing this, by these emerging markets, um, these BRIC, BRICS nations, which consist of Brazil, Russia, India, South America, and China, South America, South Africa, I'm sorry, um, South Africa. And by doing this, by creating this new development bank, they have made a very huge statement. And that statement is, is they want out of the U.S. dollar. They want to move away from the U.S. dollar, and they're not going to wait around for us, the West, to get our act together and basically make it happen. They're not going to wait around for us to get this mess that is happening with the debt surrounding the dollar. They're not going to wait for us to get it together. And so this could have very huge ramifications for the future of the dollar and the future of the U.S. dollar as the world reserve currency altogether. And for those that are seeing this happen right now, they're positioning themselves um, correctly. Um, you can see... Many big investors, um, obviously a part of these BRIC nations, um, China and India, are buying records amount of gold. And also silver as well. And also China is buying up huge records amount of real estate as well. So that is signaling that these nations are waking up that there is just an enormous amount of debt surrounding the world reserve currency, that they need to move away from this. They're positioning themselves. And so I'm going to try to to explain to you why you should care about this. My wife my wife, she does most of the personal banking and the banking for the operations of the businesses that we run. And she was at the bank yesterday and we were making some withdrawals for some silver purchases, making some deposits for some um, of our businesses that we operate. And the teller um, red flagged a $100 bill and she told my wife that she was 99.9% .9 certain that this bill was fraudulent, that it was counterfeit. 
And so after speaking to her manager, after um, going through the whole process, they ended up accepting the bill. Um, the deposit went through just fine. But as she went home and, and she was telling me this, she kind of laid out this, this thought that kind of triggered um, some things that um, we've been talking about. And she said, what if you or anybody was to go and labor for 12 hours for somebody, go work for somebody for 12 hours, and they pay you in the dollar – and they pay you in a hundred dollar bill and you go to your banking institute to deposit this money and they tell you that it's not real that they tell you that there's no intrinsic value and that they're not going to accept it and so basically you just lost out on that time and on that effort slaving away essentially to earn that pay and now they're not going to accept it well that's exactly something that could trigger this new development bank could trigger something like this with the US dollar now I want to make myself clear I don't believe that the dollar is going to crash tomorrow and that it's just going to go away and everyone's going to be weighing out gold and silver for means of transaction um, tomorrow. But what I do believe is eventually and probably within the next 24 months, the United States is going to lose its world reserve currency status. It's going to decease from being the reserve currency of the world. And I was talking to a colleague um, the other day kind of about the development bank and the things that were going on within the emerging markets and how this could affect the West um, and how um, – you know, we're kind of positioning ourselves, um, my wife and I, um, for that certain event to happen. And he said, he kind of made a comment to me and he said, oh yeah, 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 something like Bitcoin, right? And I said, wow, you know, and I go, that's exactly what I'm talking about. That, look at what's going on right now from the outside globally, Everybody outside of the West is trying to create or move away from the dollar with these cryptocurrencies, um, these free market currencies, um, the development bank um, formed by the BRIC nations. This is all um, just people outside of the West waking up and saying, and pretty much frustrated about the IMF and the World Bank and the things that are reflecting from um, the establishment of the IMF and what's happening right now. And so they're looking for ways to transact outside of the dollar. And so if it was me... I would be trying to buy things and and invest into things that are basically outside of the dollar as well. Pretty much doing what everybody else is doing, but just being able to see it happen. And those are things such as gold silver, um, energy, land, food storage, water storage, um, basically diversifying yourself into these things. So if there was an event 
where the U.S. dollar lost its world reserve currency, you would diversify yourself to have things of real value. And so, basically, the United States is desperate. They're like a wounded animal getting more and more ferocious as they're getting more and more wounded. And these countries know it. These countries are developing things that will be beneficial to, to their country. They're no longer, in a sense, for the United States. And so we have to recognize what's going on. And I hope you see the importance of why you need to know about these emerging markets, about these countries um, that economies, that their economies are rapidly growing in contrast to uh, major media sources that are telling us the United States is in a recovery. So I would just love to hear what you guys have to say about it. Um, I'll leave some links to some sources to the article articles below. Please um, let me know your perspective. Um, it really helps anybody following this channel. Um, it definitely helps us here. Um, thank you guys so much, and I look forward to seeing you soon.